Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show today. I'm really excited everybody could join us today. We're going to be diving in, and we're going to be talking about how you can get an amazing business line of credit. So today we're going to be diving in. We're going to be talking about the exact steps you need to take so you can get a business line of credit for your business. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ty Crandall. I'm actually the CEO here at Credit Suite. At Credit Suite, we help people get capital. We help business owners get capital by helping you improve your fundability to become more lendable and also to build business credit for your EIN that's not linked to your personal social and access all forms of loans and credit lines in one place. So we'll be talking about how to get financing today and also talking about some fundability steps as well. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about what a credit line is. So when we talk about a credit line, credit line is basically an agreement between a financial institution or private investor that establishes a maximum loan balance that you can access. So basically, you can access phones from this line of credit as you don't exceed that maximum, okay, as long as you meet the other requirements they have. So, for example, if you're issued a line of credit for $100,000, then you can, you can borrow up $200,000 on that credit line as long as you don't exceed that maximum amount of $100,000. And the other nice thing is this money doesn't have to be used for specific purposes. Unfortunately, a lot of loans like SBA loans require that you tell them up front what you're going to use the funds for. Um, and also requires that you actually use the funds for specific purposes. There's only certain things you can use the funds for, and there are restrictions if you're not using funds for those things. So this is kind of like a credit card without the actual plastic. So this is one of the questions I'm often asked. One of the things that people don't often know is what is the difference between a credit line and a credit card? Really, and from my opinion, and from all the research I've done, there's really two main differences you need to know about. A credit card, if you wanted to take physical cash out, you'd have to pay about a 20% plus interest rate to do so. And a credit line, you could take cash out without paying that zero, without paying that hefty interest rate, but you also don't typically get 0% interest on credit lines. So the benefit of credit cards, you can get 0% interest for 16 18 months. The drawback of credit cards, you'd have to pay 20% plus if you need physical cash. The benefit of credit lines is that you could take physical cash without paying that. 20% rate. The drawback of credit lines is that you're not able to typically take out money um, or you're not able to get the 0% rate you can get on credit cards. So there's a lot of unique advantages of credit lines. What most people like the most is that they're, they have flexibility. You're basically only paying payments and interest on what you borrow. So this is especially nice for startups because newer businesses might think they need fifty dollars or $100,000 to get the business off the ground. But the problem is, is that once you, you know, it, it takes that 50, 100,000 you may need, may need to be paid over 12 months. So you don't want to get a loan for 100,000 and start paying payments on money that you don't need. Credit lines lets you use what you want to use, pay it off, and then reuse it, which is why people like them so much. We use our credit line for a lot of different things. So when we see opportunities to jump in and take advantage of a marketing opportunity or acquire another company or all these other things that are possibilities, then we're able to use our credit lines to do so and then be able to pay them off and then reuse it. So this is the same reason so many business owners like it. It's also the most commonly requested type of financing in the business world, but they're really true to fund. They're really hard to find. A lot of credit lines out there are really credit cards, and it's called a credit card stacking program, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Those aren't real true credit lines. So if you want real true credit lines, they're harder to find, and we're going to talk about today exactly how you're able to get those. And even when you can get them, a lot of them are tough to qualify for as well. So that's why we're going to do this today. We're going to talk about some of the ones you can get, even if you are a startup, even if you have credit issues, even if you don't have the financials in a plan to get a lot of the other ones. Speaking of a lot of the other ones that you can get to banks, these are all basically SBA capital. So if you want to go to a bank to get a credit line, you're typically going to end up with either a credit card or one of these cap lines from SBA, which per them, this is the umbrella program in which they basically can help business owners meet short-term and cyclical working capital needs. Bottom line, but SBA Cap Lines is their umbrella program that all of their credit lines fall under. You can get loans up their line up to $5 million. Your requirements are pretty much the same with other SBA programs, which means you need to have good personal credit. You need to have established business credit. You need to have financials. You need to have collateral. Again, I'm starting with the most difficult to qualify, but we'll be diving into ones that are a lot easier to qualify for as well. And a lot of SBA's cap lines are very specific to their actual needs. They're, they're designed for specific purposes. Speaking of which, one of those is called a contract line. So this basically has to do with the financing of direct labor, the material costs associated with the signable contract. Very popular in the construction industry. Also, you have a builder's line, which is meant for general contractors doing construction. 
the financing direct labor and material costs. If you think about construction projects getting done, then there's a lot of cost while that, that property is being built. And then again, there's really no money coming in from the property to pay for that amount until a property is built and somebody else occupies that property. So there's all this time in between that you need cash flow, and that's what builders' lines are designed for. And then there's a working capital line. So this really has to do with just regular whatever you may need the credit line for. You're going to hear this term a lot when it comes to business lending, working capital. And what working capital financing basically means is it just means that you're able to get financing for whatever need that you may need. Working capital just to get yourself through a month, get yourself through a year, buy the things that you want to buy. So they also have those credit lines are designed for working capital as well. Now, SBA also has an express program where you can get a qual you can get a credit line fairly quickly for well-qualified borrowers. Approvals up to three hundred fifty thousand. Uh, and again, SBA banks charge about as much as six point five percent over the base rate. So a couple of reasons I want to tell you this. First of all, we are crushing it right now with SBA loans and credit lines. Anything under three hundred fifty thousand dollars is not extremely difficult to get. We're closing a lot of these in sixty days or less, thirty to sixty day range. So they don't take as long as regular SBA loans, and the rates are pretty good as well, and the term is pretty good as well. Now, I will tell you, you can get similar terms to SBA loans on many of the other options we'll talk about today as well, but probably one of the better things about SBA loans is you can get a much longer term, 10, 20, 30 years, so it keeps your payments really low. Uh, but if you can qualify for one of these credit lines, it's really nice to have as well. And if you're staying under $350,000, it's much easier to be able to get approved. The loans over $25,000 do require collateral. What kind of collateral? Well, the SBA will basically look at anything you have that works as business collateral, even look at personal assets if you don't have enough collateral in the business to cover. So I've seen them use personal homes as collateral if the business doesn't have enough collateral. But typically, your account receivables works great as an asset for SBA. Basically, your key customers pay you on terms, and then those are outstanding receivables work as an asset that can serve as collateral. So for approval, you're going to need balance sheet, income statement, AR, account receivables, if that's what you're using, an AR statement, um, a collateral, articles of incorporation, your business licenses, any contracts with third parties. This stuff's all pretty typical with SBA. And again, SBA loans require a longer time to close, require more documentation to close. Um, and again, this being said, uh, there is also an opportunity to be able to come in and qualify if you have the cash flow credit and collateral that you actually need to be able to get going. Okay, so um, that being said, you can also use inventory as collateral as well to qualify for business financing. So this is, there's only one lender in the country that actually does this, uh, but again, it's really nice to be able to have access to use your inventory as collateral to get financing. You need about half a million in inventory or more, and you're getting approved for a credit line for about 50% of your inventory value. Now, rates are usually about 5 to 15%, depending on the type of inventory you're dealing with. So I wanted to address something really quick and kind of interrupt and stop. So it's pretty cool because I just got a couple messages here in chat, which is really cool for us because we're trying a new format here on YouTube. So my apology for the person that just said they were in the other live waiting room. I think we had two events scheduled today as we're figuring out this new awesome news is that you can all leave comments now on videos and in real time i'm actually able if you're here on youtube to see your comments as well so just wanted to address this so those things so you can also get the core financing in about three weeks or less so we had a guy that was looking for a million dollar sba loan when we asked him what it was for a large part of it, they were using their cash to buy inventory and then the problem is they didn't have enough beyond that money to do the things they needed to buy they didn't realize there was a financing that was specifically designed for inventory as well. So we were able to get a credit line against the inventory to free up the working capital we needed and get additional financing to help them with the other acquisitions and things they want to do. So a lot of benefits if you have a lot of inventory to get inventory financing credit line. Now, there's a newer one that's out in the last two years that you can use account receivables and get a credit line. You need about 100000 revenue to qualify. And what happens is the lender plugs right into your accounting software like QuickBooks and does their underwriting automatically in real time using that information. So this happens now, this artificial intelligence is underwriting these, these, uh, these, underwriting these applications by looking electronically at your documents like QuickBooks or your bank account is now really expediting the time frame it takes to get money. So in this case, you're able to get approved in about 24 hours and sometimes fund in 24 hours or 48 hours usually at the latest. So if you have account receivables, your customers are paying you on terms, those can be used as collateral to qualify for financing. 
And this is a really good way to go. You need about a 620 credit score, but with 100,000 in revenue, they're able to come in and get approved as well. And as a matter of fact, there's one of these available that has no credit score requirements now that I think of it as well. So if you don't have, or if you have credit issues but have account receivables, that could be an easy way for you to get financing for your business as well. Okay, and the rates are pretty low, about a half a percent to 0.7% per, for every week outstanding. And you usually have about 24 weeks to pay back that money that you put on the credit line. A lot of approvals we see are under 50000 And then if you supply tax returns, you'll get approved for more. But if you have really good account receivables and you're definitely bringing in uh, regularly a lot of money for installments from your customers and your customers pay those installments as a great, it makes it really, really, really nice for you to be able to do this. And Robert says, how will this work for a trucking company? It depends. So AR financing can work really well for those people in the trucking industry if your people are paying you on terms, which doesn't happen a lot. Inventory financing probably doesn't work as well for you because you don't actually have inventory. But we will talk about some options that will work a little bit better for you here Robert, as well. So there are two ways to qualify for this program, outstanding account receivables. Another one to do is to make sure that you actually use revenue. So you can actually use revenue to qualify for this program as well. So if you just have regular money going to your bank account, Robert, this actually talks about you being in the truck industry. This is the better of these two. So there's another one of these kind of credit lines that you can get up to $100,000. Uh, sometimes they do a credit check, sometimes they don't. And you're able to actually get approved just based on consistent revenue going to your bank account. Now in this program, they plug right into your bank account. They're not looking at account receivables through places like QuickBooks. What they're looking for instead is they're actually looking for receivable or they're looking for revenue consistently going through your bank account and that you're managing it responsibly. Like you don't have a bunch of overdrafts. You don't have a bunch of non-sufficient funds. If you have that, this is one of the easiest to qualify for credit lines I've ever seen. As a matter of fact, if you want to get approved, you can go to creditsuite.com forward slash fund box, F-U-N-D fund box, B-O-X. So creditsuite.com forward slash fund box. Every client that we get any kind of financing for, we have them apply for this one as well because it's one of the easiest to qualify for credit lines that's out there. And we see a lot of clients approved for less than $10,000. But if you supply your tax returns, they often will approve you for about $30,000. And then if you pay it as a green and go back and apply again, they'll often bump that up to even $100,000. So we have a $100,000 credit line through this exact same program, used our revenue to qualify. Within 48 hours, you can get the money, use it, reuse it, great way to go. And I've had people come in that are asking specifically for higher rate financing, but then we turn them on this to this credit line and it gets them exactly what they need without paying the outrageous interest rates that are out there on some of the other credit lines. So another great way to go. So revenue lending credit line, another one of these we just talked about. So this is where you're really using revenue to qualify for financing. They're going to either approve you for a loan uh, and typically they're also going to approve you for a line of credit. So here's what happens. Revenue financing, merchant cash advances, they're all, they all go by very similar name. And what it really has to do with is, as I just mentioned, they're looking at your bank account. They're making sure you, you manage it responsibly. This is a second program from the one I just told you about. But in this program, they'll usually give you as much as 12% of your annual revenue. So if you do $200,000, they'll give you about 12% of that. Let's say it's about $24,000, $25,000 loan. Nowadays, they'll give you another credit line right along with it, oftentimes for $25,000 or more. So this means you get a loan and a credit line at exactly the same time. Credit oftentimes doesn't even matter for the loan. They want you to have a little bit better credit when it comes to getting the credit line, but you're able to get a loan and a credit line at the same time using basically just your business revenue to be able to qualify. Okay? So that makes it much easier. Now, a Millionaire Lock says, do I need a business tax to get a line of credit? or to get business credit, you don't necessarily. But what you do need is you, if an application for loan or credit card asks for a fax number, you should have a fax number to give them. So I always recommend you get set up at a place like Ring Central that gives you a phone number and that also turns around and that phone number can become a fax number. It's one of the easiest ways to do that. So with this revenue with the credit line, when you apply, you can get approved for both the credit line and the loan, and it's much easier to qualify for than a lot of other kind of financing that you're going to find. And you can use the funds for just about any different reason. So it makes it really easy to be able to get approved based on revenue alone. So cash flow financing, we just talked about this. There's also merchant cash advances, which is another way to use only credit card sales to get approved. You can get approved if you have only 10000 in revenue, sometimes even 5000 a month in revenue. And with credit scores as low as 500 you're able to get loans and credit lines using your cash flow only through 
not get it to be able to get it. Now, private investors also offer credit lines. You can get 250, 500,000, even a million in financing with pretty good rates, about 8%. You're going to have to actually have good business tax returns, pretty good credit, and you're also going to need to have some money and assets liquid in the business to be able to qualify. So this is for more of a well-established business than what you're going to find somebody that's on the newer. Because on this one, you've got tax returns. Your tax returns show profit. Your revenues are increasing from year to year. Your credit's a little bit better. So this one's a little bit more difficult of the ones to talk about. Now, this is an unsecured bank line of credit. So banks offer these as well. A lot of alternative lenders do for about 50 to really up to about 250000 now. Now, what they're typically going to look at on this one is mainly only your tax returns, and this becomes very important because when it comes to tax returns, what happens is you need to show a profit to be able to open up a lot of different kinds of financing. So a lot of financing on tax returns, or excuse me, a lot of tax returns, people try to write off everything at the end of the year that they show that they lose money. I can tell you the difference between getting a line of credit like this, whether you show a thousand in profit or no profit, is a really big, it, it is a big difference, meaning that if you have thousand dollar loss on a tax return. I can't get you this program. But if you have thousand dollars in profit, I could. So showing some kind of profit on your tax returns every year is really crucial to being able to open up the doors for a lot of longer term loans and lower interest rate lines of credit, including these offered through alternative lenders. They're not as concerned about credit. They do want to see you pay your bills, but what they really want to see is a business that's growing, that the revenues are climbing that you're growing year to year and that you're showing some kind of profit and you're rewarded with interest rates of about 7 to 10%. So low interest rate, really good line of credit, but they're going to want you to have better credit, especially what they're mainly looking at is they're mainly looking at your revenue. I have a few questions come in. Uh, I'm just starting out, what's the best way to get funding? Well, some of these ones we're going to talk about here, okay? But one of the easiest ways to get funding through if you're just getting started as a startup is business credit itself. If you don't, or if you want another alternative, it really comes down to what cash flow credit or collateral you have. If you're a brand new startup, you don't have cash flow, so then you want to look at the collateral you have. You have a 401k, stocks, bonds, assets, receivables, for example. Okay? Or do you have good credit or a good credit guarantor? Those are probably the best options to open up some funding for you if you're kind of just getting started. So Gio says, what if you don't have revenues coming until you get your funding done? Then you need to focus on the other two. I call this the three C's formula to lending. Think of it like this. If you want to get money for your business, it's super simple to understand how. You either need credit, cash flow, or collateral. As a startup, you don't have cash flow. So that leaves only credit or collateral to qualify. Collateral could be account receivables, equipment, it could be inventories, it could be purchase orders, it might be uh, stocks, bonds, 401ks, IRAs, any kind of asset may function as collateral. If you don't have any kind of assets, maybe people around you do. If you don't have anybody around you that has assets, nor you don't, then you focus on that third C, which has to do with credit, which means that you need to have good credit, 650 score or higher, or a guarantor that does, that will open up funding options for you. Now, let's say in this example, Gio, that you have none of those. You don't have cash flow, you don't have credit, or you don't have collateral. That's when you need to build business credit. Business credit's a catch-all. You can still get very high limit revolving credit card accounts without cash flow credit and collateral. So hopefully that helps. And you actually asked about um, if you said a company again, if you don't mind, if you're really in our discussion that you can go to creditsuite.com forward slash fund box to get approved. That's creditsuite.com. You can see that on the bottom of the slides. But in store instead of you can actually go to creditsuite.com forward slash get funding and we can help you or go to creditsuite.com forward slash fund box and then I'll help you as well. So we talked a little about, about these private investors and how they can help you if you're a financial Let's also talk about these unsecured credit lines for 0%. This is kind of a hybrid program. You get 0% benefit of credit cards. You get the cash out with no 20% charge benefit of credit lines. It's kind of a hybrid. And this is really nice because it works for startups, works for high-risk industries. All you need is pretty good credit to be able to get approved. You only pay on what you owe. And so it's, it functions just like a credit line. And a lot of this credit reports on your business credit reporting agencies. It reports to the business credit. So you're building business credit at exactly the same time that you're able to get financing for your business even as a startup. And you can max this credit out without adversely affecting your consumer credit because it doesn't report on your consumer credit reports. It reports on your business credit reports. So what happens is the finance source in this, finance source in this case is, is it a lender? Basically going out and securing these kind of credit lines for you at 0% interest. Okay? 
And what's happening is typically they're going to get you five to eight times more money than you get on your own. So if you try to go into your bank and get one of these credit lines, you'd get about five to eight times the money with these kind of sorts than you'll typically get on your own. Okay, um, And they'll give you about five to eight different credit lines that you're able to actually use. So this kind of creates competition amongst them, which means about every six months you start to see your limits get higher and higher and higher. And you can usually get approved for about five times the amount of your highest credit limit account in the house. So if the highest credit card you have is $10,000 on your business credit report, you can get about five times that amount, about $50,000, up to about $150,000 um, versus a bank where you might only get 1x. You're possibly only going to get the amount equal to your highest credit limit. Now, there's two different kinds of cards here. There's personal lines, which report on the business, or personal credit reports, business credit lines, which report on the business credit reports. The difference here is that the personal ones are just easier to qualify for. Like you can get approved for the personal lines with 0% interest with, at, with a 650 credit score. The business lines that report only the business reporting agencies require about a 700 credit score. But with both of these, you're getting 0% interest rate for about six to 18 months. Normal credit card rates after that. And again, you're getting all the points, rewards that you get with normal credit cards. You don't need any collateral. You don't need any cash flow to get approved either. Okay, so really good way to go to get financing for your business, even as a startup. And as I mentioned, you can get up to about $150,000 with this program, um, even as a startup. And what they're really looking for is that you don't have any recent derogatories on your bank or on your credit report, no bankruptcies, no late payments within the last 12 months. You're looking for somebody that has pretty good credit or some issues in the past, but is currently doing very well um, in paying your bills. And again, you can use a guarantor with this program as well. It doesn't just need to be your credit. So this is the most common type of flow of financing I see for startups, period. Typically, the money that we see for a startup, about 80% of the time comes from this program. It's either the person that's starting the business using their own credit to qualify, or it's somebody using a guarantor, mom, dad, grandpa, grandma, friend, potential investor to qualify. The reason for that is that 75% of business owners get money from family and friends to start their business, okay? And the nice thing here is that instead of going to mom or dad to get cash, you could use their credit to qualify for these credit lines. The credit you get only reports on your business credit reports, not theirs. So they have no adverse thing that happens to them unless, of course, you defaulted on the money. And if you default on the money, well, then they already have problems if they link you to cash. So probably one of the best options I've seen out there uh, for businesses, especially as a startup. Okay, and they're also looking for low inquiries about less than six in the last six months in your credit report. Also, utilization uh, below about 30% is what they're looking for as well. Okay, Robert says, what's the best credit line to use to purchase equipment such as trucks and trailers? What you should do, Robert, is get with us at creditsuite.com forward slash funding or forward slash get funding. The answer to that is you want specified financing that's designed especially for what you're talking about. We work with a lot of truckers, a lot of truckers, and we have financing that's specifically designed for the purpose of buying trucks. It's a form of equipment financing that you'll use for that purpose. It's not typically a credit line. It's going to be a straight loan that's going to be designed with not a lot of money needed from you to qualify to actually buy that truck. And in a lot of cases, what we do with equipment financing is if we use a program like this, maybe to get the doubt to get the money you need to cover the down payment on that financing, then you can get specialized financing just for the purpose of buying the truck or trailer or both. And then the money you need down, you can use a program like this to cover your down payment. So oftentimes we're able to merge multiple programs together, one to get you the truck and trailer you need, and then one to actually get you the money you need down on that program. And somebody's saying, what bureau are they checking for personal? Well, the answer is all three. So TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian are often used depending on the source. Sometimes they look at three. Sometimes they look at two. Sometimes they look at one. So if you're going to creditsuite.com forward slash get funding, a few questions you fill out there. Our team will be on the phone with you to talk to you more about what you can qualify for. And with that kind of solution, we can find out if you're better with one credit bureau and not the other. And that can kind of control where to go with the application. But if you've got credit issues with one and not the other, um, you may you will be limited out of funding. So you're not going to get as much funding if you have good credit across all three bureaus as you would if your credit's only good with one. But it's definitely possible to be able to do that. Okay, and we also talked about credit partners as well in the unsecured program. So 
we got a lot of different types of lines of credit that are out there. Okay? We can try with the high-end ones, the SBA cap ones. These require the good credit, the cash flow, the collateral, the ones that you're going to get from basically from your bank. Remember, there's also specialized financing as well, things like inventory financing, or as I was just talking about here with Robert, where he's getting specialized financing to buy trucks and trailers. So there's specialized financing just for the need that you have, which is like equipment or inventory, or you can get revenue financing. Many different options we talked about there. We were able to actually look at your bank account, see that you manage your bank account responsibly, and that opens up a lot of different credit line options for you as well. Um, account receivable financing. If you have people that pay you on terms, that opens up great credit line options for you as well. We talked about the 0% unsecured program. Books brilliant for startups. No collateral needed. No cash flow needed. It's based completely on personal credit. A 650 credit score will, is the bottom that gets you in the door. If you have better credit than 700, that opens up even more options. And remember, you don't need to be the one with the credit. A guarantor can work there as well. Okay? And these financing, a lot of these options will work for you even if you are in a high-risk industry. So remember, we're just scratching the surface on the top types of financing that's available for you out there. You can feel free to go to creditsuite.com forward slash get funding, and we'll talk to you a little bit more about all the financing you can qualify for. Keep in mind that when you're working with us, you're getting access to every legitimate funding program in one place. We're one of the only few sources in the country that works with every legitimate funding source to make sure you can get the most money at the best terms. You never pay us fees. When it comes to financing, we do all that work for you and never charge you a dime. The way we can do that is lenders ultimately pay us a referral fee in a lot of cases. And the nice thing about that is that we're able to do a lot of volume with these lenders. And we do so much volume, we get lower rates and you get on your own. And we pass it on to you. So not only does it not cost you anything to work with us, we do that work for you for free. But it's also you get better pricing that way. Because again, we never charge you any rate or any fees. You pay whatever the lender pays. And we get you lower rates and fees because we negotiate that for you and you get our volume discount. And we develop what's called a business blueprint. We talk to you about funding you can get now and develop a long-term funding plan to get you even more, including SBA loans, because that's what we work. That's how we work. Our, our goal is that you never need to look for funding again. In my opinion, it's insane that you have accountants, that you have attorneys, but you don't have one person in your corner that's whole job is to get you money when you need it. And that's why we created Credit Suite, to be that role, to be that person in your corner that helps you get financing whenever you need it. So if we can help you there, feel free to go to creditsuite.com forward slash get funding, or feel free to give us a ring at 877-600-2487. Also, feel free to visit us online at creditsuite.com and check out the right top of our page where all of our social links are. You can follow us on Facebook. We are about to go back live weekly. We had to fix some things with our Facebook live stream. We go live on YouTube now weekly. We fix those tech issues, and we're now back. And now I get questions, which is awesome. I can now engage with you guys at a level I haven't been able to before. And then we also have daily tips on places like Instagram. We have our podcast you can listen to on the go. And it's all about helping you succeed as an entrepreneur, and especially helping you access the capital you need uh, to succeed in business. So you can visit us at the top right of our page. Okay. So that being said, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I will be back. Now that we've got these issues worked out with our tech side, we will start to get the schedule nailed down on YouTube of when we will be doing what event. We'll get all that tightened in and done the right way. Only one event at the same time. And now that we figured out the video and audio issues, we'll be able to go live weekly and engage with you as we go. So I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern here on YouTube or if you're listening on our podcast. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day. If there's anything we can do to help you in our world, feel free to give us a ring. 877-600-2487 or info at